Hi everyone. Excuse the insane hair. I actually had uh, really, really long hair. It was down to my bum until just over a year ago. And I shaved it all off for McMillan cancer. And this is as far as it's grown in a year. Because fibromyalgia, it affects your hair. And a lot of us, your hair just doesn't grow anymore. So, it is 24th of December, uh, Christmas Eve in most countries, or many countries I should say, not most. I haven't really done much videoing this week, because we had a, quite a sad few days. Um, we had a lamb born, uh, one of my neighbours. Hi Sefi. Look at Sefi, because she's awesome. We had a lamb born, um, slight deformity in its face. I said I'll take it on. You are right. I said I'd take it on. Uh, unfortunately, it's 73 hours old. She had to be put to sleep. So that was really, really sad. Um, I had three days of up every two hours feeding her. I'm trying to do this sensible video while you're just making everybody laugh. Mwah, I know, I love you too. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, she was put to sleep on the Wednesday. I'd take her to the vet to be put to sleep. It was was peaceful and quick so she brought a lot of fun into our lives hell of a lot of fun she was an awesome little little lamb um we called her bella um i did a couple of lives about her <clears throat> and it it really really knocked me i had no idea how much it would affect me but it really did i knew she didn't have a great chance <laughs> thanks madam she had a chance, but she didn't have a great chance, and I knew that, but I still I still tried. I put a lot of effort into her, and it really, really hit me hard. So, I've had a week off videoing, and now, little madam, mwah, kiss, mwah, mwah, <laughs> teaching her tricks. Anyway, so now it's Christmas Eve, and I'm finally sort of getting better. So, more videos. Happy Christmas to you. Um, enjoy the rest of this video. Not sure if I'm going to put anything after it, so if I don't, sorry. And uh, have a great Christmas wherever you are, whatever you do. Bye. The darker of these two ponies, Charlie, is still relatively wild. And Curly, the white one, he's also still relatively wild <laughs> they both came wild off a mountain in Wales uh, Charlie we've had for I think two years hey darling and he's living with us because we've got facilities and experience to deal with uh, wild ponies and he is still wild he's very much uh, enjoying life up here. Hey Curly! It's what he used to used to live. Curly here is 20 years old now. He'll be 21 in five months. Well, four and a half months actually. So we've had Curly for 16 years. He's lived with us since he was four and he's now 20. 20 and a half. Hey Curly! Now, any of you who have experience with horses will probably be looking at this little pony saying he has cushions, which is a metabolic disease. He actually doesn't. He looks like it. He has, he, he does look like your typical cushions pony. But he was tested last only a month ago and he actually does not have cushions. He's very cute and adorable. He's curly. He's never been able to be ridden or driven. That's the wild part of him that's still in existence. You can handle him. We can do a lot of stuff with Curly. He's a fantastic pony. <laughs> we call him Uncle Curly. He looks after youngsters and little ponies and any new ponies. He takes them on. See, his office I'm not coming in, Mum. Hello, think tank. 
So, Curly, beautiful little pony. Get on a bit in life. He uh, can't really be bothered to deal with all the politics anymore. He used to be, in his head, lead stallion. Even though he was castrated before we had him. Hey, Curly! He does do some tricks. Um, whether or not he'll do one now, I don't know. Curly, say please. Say please. Curly. No, I can't see. Say please. Please. Good lad. He lifts his paws up. Your little tootsies have got a bit long, darling. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Good lad. But yes, he does. He looks like he has Cushion's disease, but he doesn't. Despite <laughs> immensely hairy hairiness of hello. <laughs> Give everyone kisses. Oh, good boy. His kisses. <laughs> he does do a few different tricks. You get a little bit of a treat because you've done a trick. <laughs> He's now a bit in my face and now won't back off. Let's do any more video. <laughs> Thank you, jealous. <laughs> Nobody out, no, I didn't ask for kisses. Are you going to do a proper plea? Right, okay, stand there. All right. Curly, please. See if he'll do it. Curly, please. He said, okay, I'll come up to you though. Say, please. <laughs> We can't see. Say, please. Please. No, lift it properly. Please. Good boy. That's it. He lifts, he lifts a leg. Oops. He lifts a leg up like dogs lift a paw up. <laughs> no kisses. There's no more treats. That's your, that's your maximum, darling. Sorry. But he has an immensely thick coat. But that's actually just because he has spent a lot of his life... Uh, well, he spent the first part of his life living in rural Wales, high up on a mountain. And then he's come here into Scotland and he's realised that actually he needs to put a bit of weight, uh, weight. He needs to put a bit of fluffy coat on. So he's put fluffy coat. He's, trying, he's saying please and trying to give me kisses at the same time. Darling, that's all you're allowed. You know that. Hmm? <laughs> Uh, this little youngster here is wanting to take over from Curly doing tricks. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> You've got a grass stain on your face. So Curly does have a really, really thick coat. He needs his feet trimming. Mm. Your footsies trim. He was self-trimming them, but uh, when we first moved here. But Curly's not moving around. You've got mud on your face now. Curly's not moving around as much as the other ponies. So his feet will be done. I think the farrier's out in a week or two. Two. Oh, I don't know. I have to look it up. Hey, Tank. <laughs> Some people have asked why I don't do a, a daily vlog. Um, what goes on here, the reason is because not a lot. I've had to set everything up. Yes, dear, because of my fibromyalgia. Uh, I also have really bad asthma. My lungs only work at 40% at best. Um, so everything's been set up to make it all as easy as possible. So actually, there's very, very little to do on uh, a daily basis. <laughs> Ash is just waiting for the hay. Got the hay here. <laughs> so 
So the reason I don't do a daily vlog is because there's not really enough to show you. I mean, I'll come in and show you now. Hey, Steffi. I think you're definitely pregnant. Definitely a belly there. So as it's not going to be too cold tonight, there's no wind. It's not raining. There's no snow. So we put some hay in the shelter, in their little hay rack. Push it down as far as possible, please. We put some hay in their shelter um, to give them something to eat. And it also helps block any wind that there is. I haven't yet done that side, naughty me. That's uh, tomorrow's job, it's the weekend. So yeah, there's very, very little that we actually do on a daily basis because that's how it's been set up. It's been set up like that for my health. Yeah. So, Hayley gets pushed down there and they can eat it from both sides. Look at the beautiful full moon. And we have a meteor shower tonight. We have so much land here. The boys were moved, that little white thing over there, that white blob. Those are our tups, our boys. So they're now in a paddock, just under six acres. And two of the neighbours' sheep are in there as well. Um, not, supposed to be. not really supposed to be in there, they're not really in there. Um, they weren't put in there on purpose, but we've got more than enough land, it's really not an issue. Uh, aside from that, we can't catch them. Excuse me. We can't catch the things. So they are therefore staying. Right, somebody's in the shelter. Of course, it's Sefi. So, show you. Hello. She pulls the sh pulls the hay in from inside the shelter. Oh, you give kisses to the world. Yeah. She's been separated from her boyfriend now because she looks quite pregnant. You right, darling? She's newbie and cross alpine, and her husband. Is seven eighths alpine. Uh, sorry, seven eighths Nubian. We done. We done. Uh, yeah. So the chickens now get put to bed. Hey, darling. We've just swapped the waters over. Old Petsy <laughs> looks so demonic. Yeah, so all we do now, hello little Dot, I saw your mum last night. We saw little Dot's mum, uh, she lives on a farm down the road. We saw her last night wearing silly reindeer antlers. I'll put a photo up to show you. So after this, the next thing we do is we put the chickens to bed and the geese if they will. However, the geese think it's too light at the moment. So I don't know if the geese will go to bed. In the back garden we have five cockerels who we've just been putting them in the same um, same enclosure overnight. First time last night, it's working well. Don't think the geese want to come to bed. We're going to check the chickens, see if there's any more eggs. Because my chickens are really strange. We tend to get one egg in the morning and then after sort of 2.30 in the afternoon, we tend to get two or three more eggs. So this is a hill. <laughs> I know you don't get grass bit on video. But we walk up the hill and then we go to the chickens. Of course, we do have the little lambs in a barn at the moment. So they're an extra one to check. Hello, how you doing? Oh, this is our little friend, Blue. Hi, Blue. Needle fingers a worm. No? Okay. So, we check the chicken shed over again. Hello. Take up any eggs. Have you got the geese? Oh, the geese want to come to bed early for once. Come on, you lot. Come on. Check for any more eggs. Occasionally you get eggs late afternoon. We check them about 2.30. No eggs. And the chickens go to bed and the geese. We've got these fantastic feeders 
that were built by a man who used to live here because he had 50 hens in here and the feeders carry a fair few bags <laughs> so they've already had corn put in there this is layers pellets that's going in so they've had about a quarter of a bag of corn to two bags of layers pellets Right, you lot <laughs> very noisy in the evenings hi little man are you a little boy you are a little boy You fell over. Well, behave, Mum. Hey. Yeah. A very unusual colour. I think that's two boys. They're nice. So I haven't really done much video in this week. Um, I couldn't really show you very much because the sun, we didn't get daylight till after 8.30 in the morning and it was like this at uh, what 3.30 in the afternoon. It's still beautiful here though. <laughs> 